In this week's episode, we'll be taking a look at the latest music video for Megan Thee Stallion and Dua Lipa's Sweetest Pie. In that video, you can see this bubblegum eye effect and that is exactly what we'll be recreating today. What are you going to need for this shot? Well, we're gonna shoot from a tripod. Now, what are we going to need for this effect? Well, two shots, both shots from a tripod. The first shot is your talent doing the acting. Very important here is that the eyes are closed and you have tracking markers on the eyelids. The first step for your bubblegum shot is laying your head on something sturdy so your head won't move around that much. The second part of the bubblegum is a ping pong ball that will interact with your bubblegum. We mounted this on something sturdy so it won't move that much and we also give it a skin color so the reflection in the bubblegum will be natural and not white, obviously. And that's it. That's it. For the shot, so let's shoot. Inside After Effects, we are going to explain everything with one eye, because the other eye is exactly the same. We place our shot into a new composition, and then the first thing we will be doing is tracking our eye. We are simply going to do a track motion and are going to use the position and rotation properties. Once done, we can apply the tracking data to a new null object. To make it ourselves easier, give everything the correct name, because in the end we will be having double layers and without proper names it could get messy. Then we took our shot of our talent blowing a bubble, and this we rotoscoped, so we were left with only the mouth and the bubble. Also take the shadow casted by the gum into the rotoscope, we will be using that later. For the rotoscope settings we increase the feather a whole bunch, decrease the contrast and increase the reduced shadow with a little bit. Then we pre-compose the bubble layer and place it over our tracked eye. Immediately duplicate the bubble layer and on this duplicate we're going to add a fill effect with a dark brown color set and a fast box blur effect. This layer is going to serve as our shadow layer, so we will be setting the blending mode of that layer to multiply. And if needed we can also lower the opacity a little. Every week we answer a question from the community, so if you have a question let us know comments down below. This week is from Zay J and he asks if we can do a recreation of a live action scene. Well, this week actually we already started with filming and the preparations of a live action scene with sugar glass and I thought it was safe. Well, it was nuts. Look at here guys, my head is bleeding. No, it was bleeding. It's not bleeding. So that's a good thing. So stay tuned for that guys and don't forget to follow us on Instagram where you can see all of the behind the scenes what happens here at CineCon. If you can't shoot the bubblegum clip, you could always use a stock clip like this one for example. This comes from Storyblocks, our sponsor for today's video. In their ever-growing library with more than 1 million royalty-free high-quality stock assets, you can find a ton of assets for any kind of project you're working on. And besides this bubblegum clip, you can find other stock assets in HD and 4K resolution. Overlays, logo animations, lower thirds, transitions, epic music, sound effects and so much more. When working with tight deadlines, saving time is super important and Storybox makes that possible since you can simply download anything you need without having to go outside and shoot or make it from scratch. And to top that off you can download as many assets as you want from their library with the unlimited all access plan. Or you can check out the other affordable plans, there's one for every kind of creator. If you want to know more about Storyblocks and how to start downloading right away, click the first link in the description down below or go straight to storyblocks.com slash cinecom. Now that we have a shadow we will be fine tuning it. With an animated mask on our shadow layer, we are only going to encircle the shadow. So carefully animate and follow the existing shadow and of course feather your mask a bunch. Then on the original bubble pre-comp layer, we are also going to mask it a little bit. With an animated mask, remove the shadow of the bubble. By doing this and having the shadow on a separate layer, we get more control over the harshness and the blending of the shadow. However, we do have a problem now. Because our shadow lays on top of everything, it will be casting shadows where there doesn't need to be any shadows. So we are going to re-import our bubble shot and this time we are only going to rotoscope our bubble gum. By doing this and laying the bubble gum on top of everything, we are going to remove the excess shadows. Now for the last step we are going to remove the original eye. Just duplicate the main talent clip and now with the clone stem tool we are going to paint away that eye. Make sure that in the settings of the clone stem tool the duration is set to constant and also start painting from the beginning of your timeline. Now when done, freeze frame that clip. Then again pre-compose the clip and lay it underneath all the bubblegum eye layers and mask out the part that you need. As a last step, select all the bubble eye layers and link them to the null object with the tracking data. Oh yeah, 
If you want and if needed, you can use the liquefy effect to make the bubble interact even more with the talent's face. And voila, your bubblegum eye is done. Now just like them, you can duplicate this entire project for the other eye. You can even use the same bubble layer. They also do that. And that's it! <laughs> That is how you can make your eyes blow bubblegum. Now, thank you, Storybox, for the support. Thank you guys for watching. And as always, stay creative. Oh, yeah, if you want to see more, you can click right here for our other videos. Really cool.